Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here, back with the Studio Logic Numa Compact 2. Now, in my initial video, which I introduced all the functions and features of this particular board, I didn't go into detail, and that's what this video is about. We're going to dive a little bit deeper into this board and find out just what it is that you can edit. So, here we go. This is the control section over here. And you've got this lovely OLED display right here. And this navigation button wheel uh, combination. So basically you can turn this to scroll through various parameters. And you can push it just like a push button to select things. So let's find out exactly what it is that we can edit and all the available edit parameters. All right, so looking at the screen right now, we are in um, sound mode. All right, so I've got concert grand on the right half, and I've got draw bar with vibrato on the lower half. And basically, since I only have upper selected, that is what is the entire keyboard is dedicated to, and that is going to be my concert grand. <laughs> Alright, so if I push this button, I can scroll or choose between the three major things. And those three major things are program, concert, draw with vibrato. Okay, so if I go to concert and then I press this edit button, I see that there are 10 different pages of different parameters that I can edit. Right now I'm on page one of 10 and I can edit the volume for both the lower and the upper halves of this. And if I go to the next parameter, I can assign to left or to right and I can reverse that. So whatever I have to the lower can be assigned to the right and vice versa. Next one, transpose. I can transpose either the left or the right by as many as plus or minus 12 semitones. And you just turn the button to do that. Next one, octave. Now, octave, I can change it to the higher octave or two higher octaves or three higher octaves or lower, whatever. So if I have a split over here and I've got piano on top and I've got flute down here on the bottom, well, flute doesn't play in this area. So I want to transpose the octave to at least two octaves higher, possibly three. That's where this comes in. And the next one, Pedal one, you can adjust the pedal to be on or off for either one of these. So if you have piano on the upper and bass on the lower and you step on the pedal, the sustain pedal, you want to sustain the top and not the bottom. This is where you do it. You want to turn it on for the top and off for the bottom. Next one, seven out of 10, pedal two, same kind of thing. All right, for portion 8 out of 10, you've got two sticks over here, stick 1 and stick 2, and this is where you can program where they're on or off. And part 9, effects. Stick 2, stick 2 for each lower and upper. You can turn it on for effects 2 or off. All right, so you go to part 10 of 10, aftertouch on or off for lower and upper okay so we're done with that and you can do that for the lower as well and get into that but when you get to the top here you can see that you've got program four you've got 99 different programmable things that you can edit and save your settings to this is program four piano and organ so if i go ahead and press edit here, I can go ahead and change the name of that 
and I can change the name to anything I want. I can also set the split point. I can also set the mixer. So the lower and the upper I can set the different volumes for as well as the zones A and B. Okay, so that's it for sound mode. When I go into MIDI, we got some similar stuff over here. 13 pages, they're a little bit different. So over here, program change, zero or zero for each left and right. Go to the next page, and that is the bank, least significant byte for each one. Zero and zero are the defaults. You can change this with this knob. And the next zone, three out of 13. Same thing, but with the most significant byte. And the next page, MIDI channel. So you can set the channel for the lower or the upper so that you can choose what channel you want to send or receive on your MIDI to. Next page, volume. This is where you set the volume for the lower and the upper independent of each other. And the zone edit. So when you have a split or whatever, you can assign the lower to the left of the split and the upper to the right of the split, or you can change that around. Page 7 to 13, transpose. Now you can transpose lower or upper independently of each other. So you can go up or down a semitone at a time. Next is octave. Same thing that I described with the sound edit parameters. Same thing over here. So if you have bass down on the bottom and you have acoustic on the top, that's cool. But what if you have flute down at the bottom? you need to transpose that octave up at least two, maybe three octaves, because that's where it usually plays. All right, pedal one, you can turn it on or off for each of the left or right. Pedal two, same kind of thing. Stick one, you can turn it on or off for each of the left or the right. Same thing with the stick two. Same thing with after touch. So that pretty much covers what we can do with all these different edits. And it is so cool to be able to have that kind of control over all of these different parameters. Hope this helps you out. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.